Number 10 then from the 2019 Advanced Air Maths 5 mark question here on, without looking at anything, implicit equations. A curve is defined implicitly by this equation. It's all jumbled up. For the first three marks, find an expression for dy by dx. Well, don't try and rearrange it to read y equals, just differentiate it term by term. That just goes to 2x. Now, y is a function of x. There are two variables. x will be the independent variable and y will be the dependent one. It depends on it. It's a function of it, so this is a function of a function. So the rate of change of that with respect to x will be the rate of change of that term with respect to y multiplied by the rate of change of y with respect to x. One cog turning another cog. Now, this is a product. So, product rule. X is just 1, leave y alone, and then x times dy by dx. And 12 is a constant, so it disappears. Right, gather the dy by dx is on this side. So I've got 2y of them, and I'll be taking away x. Leaving a single y minus a 2x on the other side. So finally, dy by dx will be y minus 2x over 2y minus x. What's the much there for three marks? Now part B. There are two points where the tangent to this curve has equation x equals k, because this implicit curve will be a function, it'll be curving all around. If that's the case, find the values of k. So what it says is, there's a tangent with the equation x equals k. Now you've already got an expression for the gradient. So what would be the gradient of this line, this tangent? Well, x, equal k, x equals k is a vertical line. And if it's a vertical line, then you can say, well, dy by dx is undefined. Now you could say it's an infinite gradient, but effectively it means you'll be dividing by zero. Which means, if that's undefined, the denominator 2y minus x must equal zero. So that means I know that x is equal to 2y. It will be the points on the curve where the x is equal to twice the y. Now feed that into the equation of the curve and you've got this x, that's 2y. 2y squared plus y squared is x, 2y times y, plus 12. Now that's just a bunch of y squareds. 4y squared plus 1y squared is 5. Take away these two. 3y squared is 12. So y squared is 4. So y is plus or minus 2. That's how you're getting your two points. Now that means from this, x is equal to twice y. So it's twice plus or minus 2. You could separate the two cases, I suppose. So x is plus or minus 4. Being in the same order. Which means that the points are... Take the negative one first. Negative 4, negative 2. And 4, 2.